The prosthetics market at the moment has a couple of different classes of devices. So you have things like hooks that are operated by pulleys. And then at the really high end of the market at the moment, you do have these really advanced robotic prosthetics, but they're so expensive that very few people can afford them themselves. Uh, so we're trying to fill the market at the low cost, but the high function. Intel have provided the Edison board. This chip is going onto our circuit board and it's going to be used to control the motors of the hand and do some processing on the signals that the amputee inputs. It has tendons, just like your human hand, and, and then a rubber surface to act like the skin. And actuators pull the tendons, which make the fingers move. It's, it's very low cost to use 3D printing. So something like this would only cost a matter of one pound. My friend Jacqueline's mum is trying to buy her a hand and it's 14 grand. She just doesn't have the money for it. Making something like this would be really life-changing and instead of having to replace it and buy a new one all the time, they can just 3D print parts and upgrade the hand. Jacqueline was saying that if she had a robotic hand, she just wants to be able to tie her hair back. I mean, it's such a small thing that we all take for granted, but that makes a huge difference to an amputee to see somebody walking down the street wearing one of our hands and I'd run up to them and shake their hand. I think that's the, that's the ideal future.